Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. Isn't it cute? So let me show you what I did. So I have everything set up here in my Stamparata, so let's push that back in. And the stamp set we're going to use is this one called Forever and Always. I love it because it has these lovely big bold sentiments, and I love the font. It's just marvellous. So we're going to be stamping in Blackberry Bliss Ink and so I'm just going to stamp and I've got here basic white or whisper white it's the same thing it's just that our suppliers changed the name changed but it's white cardstock in here just some scraps and on the back I've got a piece of adhesive sheet so that when I cut it out it'll be really easy to stick down so just give us a really good press have good contact yeah that'll do me okay so close up our ink pad put this aside for a second to dry bring in my simple chamois and we can give everything a really good clean up and get okay so we're going to do some cutting now we're going to use the matching dies that always dies and so I don't know if you can hear that that's just the red arrows going over the house they're practicing because it's winter and they practice a lot because in the summer they go and do displays so we're the red arrows at the moment are still at Scampton and we only live 10 minutes from Scampton so they're always flying over the house it's one of the perks of living in North Lincoln they are going to move unfortunately from Scampton to Waddington but that's just south of us so we should still be able to see them in the skies so I'm grateful they're not moving out of Lincolnshire like was initially thought might happen um, I'm glad they're staying here so we can we can still enjoy them because it's really special to be able to see the red arrows flying overhead okay so we've got our dies down and as I said I've got some adhesive sheet on the back here that should make sticking this lot down a little bit easier so I'm going to bring in my newest toy as I said the Stampin' Emboss the mini one and we're going to run this through so let me get my plates I've got my base plate which is number one and then I've got number two so I've got everything set here so I'm just going to run it through so I'm going to put I should really put my base plate down first so let me see which is the base plate this one's the base plate um, your base plate will get cut into more than your top plate okay and then we're just going to run this through okay so we've run it through our machine so now I'm just going to see what we've got just going to take off this post-it note tape that I used to help hold it in place and I just keep this pinned to the side of my desk here so that I can keep on reusing it and I reuse it and reuse it until there's nothing left of it so nothing gets wasted so I put that piece of scrap aside put the dies aside and there we have our sentiment and our dark paste let's start assembling so I've got here a piece of whisper white and I've got here a piece of designer series paper this is the Oso ombre and the blackberry in yeah blackberry bliss So I'm just going to stick this to my piece of Whisper White and all the measurements will be on the blog post on my website and the link to that is in the description box below. Okay, so then we've stuck that down like this. Next I'm going to stick down some ribbon. So let me bring my ribbon and we're just going to cut a piece to wrap around here and let's see, that's going to be enough something like that okay so let's put some glue down and then we're just going to see where we want this somewhere around here I think and we're just going to wrap make sure the one side is properly tethered 
and then you can try and get it straight. And pop this down on your Blackberry Bliss card base. That's an A6, standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. So that should be fine. I've got some spare glue here, so I'm just getting rid of that. Don't know why I've got some there. How I've got spare glue all over the place, I don't know. But there we go. So that's what we've got so far. And then we're going to stick down our sentiment next. So I'm just going to peel off the back here of the, just what you call the stuff, um, adhesive sheet, and then just put it down. If you don't, if you don't press it hard, as you can see, you can move it around. I think that will do fine. And then, as I had adhesive sheet, I just decided to do it on both little pieces, so turns them both into stickers. I'll stick that piece down there. Okay, so get rid of that. Then the same Blackberry Bliss ribbon, we're going to attempt to tie um, a bow. And see how far we, how well we can do. Ugh. So what are you up to as I'm as I'm crafting here? What's been going on for you? Let me know in the comments below. Life's been pretty quiet for us here in North Lincoln. Um, as I said in a previous video, I'm filming this early, so this is being filmed on the 18th of January. And my car has gone in for servicing. I'm a little worried. Um, not too worried about that there'll be anything wrong with her because I, I don't feel there's anything wrong with her. And she's she's not new new, but she's only four years old, bless her. So you know, I wouldn't expect there to be too much wrong with her yet. She's not heavily used, you know. She just gets used to go to the supermarket and a few drives. And when we were able to go out, she was used to maybe you know drive to one or two craft retreats but she doesn't do a lot of mileage so I don't expect there to be a lot wrong with her but I'm not looking forward to have to sanitise her when she comes back well, some people have said I should leave her for 48, 78 hours 72 hours rather but um, they've just announced today that, they bring, that they're that they going to start to call the over 70s for vaccination and that includes my mother so I need to have the car ready and just in case by some good fortune we're called this week um so there you go so i've just added these these are the elegant faceted gems to my card after i managed the bow so there you go two really simple i think quite elegant cards let me know what you think i hope you enjoy the project if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you wanted more information about this card and um, the measurements the supply list the links to my online shop it'll all be on the blog post and that's on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below so thank you once again and until next time enjoy being creative bye <laughs>